Hello and welcome back to Publicity. I'm your host Derek Holes and with me today is Mitch Moore, the Senior Vice President of Shenandoah. How are you? I'm great Derek, how are you? Good. Now, as you can see behind us, there's a lot of construction going on on two fields. Now let's back it up a little bit. From the very beginning, what was the proposal about these fields? Well, we knew that uh, the Hornets needed a new home, both for softball and for baseball. We knew that uh, the current uh, playing fields that were being used at the time here in the park mm -hmm. really needed some renovation. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to put together a proposal that was taken first to Parks and Recreation Advisory Board, then on to City Council, uh, that really provided a win-win-win situation. Uh, new fields for the home of the Hornets uh, that you've heard will be uh, completely turf. The fact that they will be field turf will allow other users uh, to make uh, really good use of those fields, including the Winchester Royals, Winchester Baseball, and others uh, that may want to uh, use those fields as well. Okay, so in addition to these two fields, were there any other benefits that the park received from SU? There were. Uh, the original agreement was that we would redo four fields. Okay. Uh, the pandemic uh, had us uh, split that work up, and mm -hmm. so last fall, uh, fall of 2020, we were able to renovate what we call the city fields or the Hanley fields. Mm -hmm. That included a, a complete renovation of uh, Hinkle Harris and then a transformation of Bodie Grimm and it looks great. Uh, into the, the home of the, of the judges. All right. So those are the two Hanley uh, fields. Uh, that work was about $600,000. Wow. And uh, we wanted to make sure that the city knew and that Hanley knew uh, that we wanted them to be first and get that uh, work done, uh, I think, to uh, at least read Prosser's satisfaction and right. to the Hanley judge's satisfaction. Well, I'm sure they appreciate that. Right. And then we decided that we would uh, be able to move forward with these two fields mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, this fall. All right. Well, let's focus in on these two. I know that they can see the construction behind us. What's the time frame? What will any other renovations look like? I know we said the turf. Sure. What, what other, what else is going the, on? The main thing that will happen in what we call phase uh, uh, 1B, mm -hmm. 1A was the, the, the two city fields, mm -hmm. is uh, the installation of field turf. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a quite a complicated process. There's sure. lots of uh, digging. There's lots of pipe laying in order to make sure that there is a good drainage. Mm -hmm. uh, we will do new dugouts, okay. new scoreboards, some things like that, so that the playing field will be absolutely spectacular, uh, not only for our Hornets, but for the other uh, users in the city. Excellent. Uh, so what's the time frame on completion for these projects? Right. This project, uh, we took over uh, field management uh, per the agreement with the city. It's a 40-year agreement. 40 years, okay. And so Shenandoah will manage mm -hmm. the two fields, uh, Rotary and uh, Bridgeforth. And the time frame, we took them over mid-August. Uh, okay. And everything should be done by December 31st of this year, if not before. Plenty of time for open season. Exactly right, right. and we had that in mind. Okay. Uh, we tried to do this work uh, so that it would be minimal downtime mm -hmm. for, for baseball, softball, and other uses of the field. Excellent. So if somebody from the community wants to rent or use one of these fields, how do they go about it? They contact uh, Shenandoah University. The okay. young lady's name is Amanda Levy. Okay. And she uh, uh, will be the person that will be responsible for scheduling okay. all of our uh, activities at these fields. All right. Now, is there anything else you'd like the community to know about the agreement, the fields, anything else? We're just so excited that we're able to do this. We think it shows that uh, the city and the university work well together. Unlike so many other places, we think that the town-gown relationship between Shenandoah University and the city of Winchester is a model for other communities to follow, and we're grateful to be part of that. So we know the two city fields, the two Bridgeforth and Rotary fields. Are there any other perks that the city will receive? There are. We were able to work out a $125,000 gift to the Parks and Recs Department, Okay. $25,000 a year for the next five years, wow. that will go to uh, allow for underserved programming uh, in the city. Uh, the Parks and Recreations Board explained to us that they were concerned that uh, certain populations uh, here in Winchester weren't able to access baseball mm -hmm. and softball the way they used to. And so we wanted to assist in that. 
And that was the agreement that we came up with. Well, that is a great perk, and I will say stay tuned. We have some exciting news coming out of the Parks and Rec Department about that program. Well, we do appreciate it, and thank you so much. Okay, my thank friend. You, Shenandoah. All right. We will see you next time on Publicity. <laughs> thank you for tuning in. This was the season finale of Publicity. I'm officially retiring as host. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you, but just not next time.